Hello and welcome to another weekly session on music technology. Today we're going to have a real strong focus on listening to pieces of music and talking about structure. Now structure is the order of a piece of music and the way the different sections are arranged. But rather than me telling you all about it first, let's listen to our first piece of music straight away and talk about it afterwards. It's from the Disney film Moana and it's the song You're Welcome. Click the link below this video and you can hear the song You're Welcome and whilst you're listening to it, I'd like you to really concentrate on which part or section you think is the chorus and which part you think is the verse. Now if it's a chorus, that's going to be the really catchy part that keeps on returning. Hint, it's got the words You're Welcome sung a lot in the chorus. When you hear the chorus, I'd like you to tap on your thighs in time with the music. Just some gentle taps on the thighs in time with the chorus. Now when you hear the verse, I'd like you to clap your hands in time with the music. You'll know it's a verse because the words will change and tell the story. Remember, the chorus is the catchy part and the lyrics will stay the same each time you hear it. The verse will be the storytelling part where the lyrics change. Tap your thighs on the chorus, clap your hands on the verse. Click the link below for your welcome, have a listen, do those activities, and then come back for some more. Great, so you've listened to the song You're Welcome, you've tried to identify the chorus, that's the bit that keeps repeating, and you were tapping your thighs when you heard that, and you've also listened out for the verse, that's where the story is being told and the lyrics change, and you were clapping your hands to the verse. Now you might have heard another section that didn't quite fit either of those descriptions. And that was about two thirds of the way through the song, there's a rap. Now lots of songs have a section about two thirds of the way through that are brand new, exciting, that inject something new into the song. In this case of Your Welcome, it was a rap. In other songs, it could be a guitar solo or a drum solo or just an instrumental where the lyrics drop out and the music completely changes. Try and listen out for this different section that's not a verse and not a chorus in the songs that you listen to each day. Now it's time for a fun fact about the song you've just listened to. It was called You're Welcome and it's from the Disney film Moana. But did you know that that song was sung by an ex-wrestler called Dwayne Johnson? Or his wrestling name is The Rock. More mini facts coming up after each song. But for now, let's actually get to our next song, which is by Bob Marley. And it's called One Love. I'd like you to do the same activity of tapping your thighs on the chorus and clapping your hands on the verse. Clue, the chorus in this one has the words one love sung a lot, so listen out for those. So click the link below, listen to the song One Love by Bob Marley, and then pop back afterwards for some more. So there's Bob Marley's One Love, I hope you enjoyed listening to it, and I also hope you can identify the different chorus sections from the verse sections. Unusual fact now, did you spot that this song actually started with the chorus? Most songs start with the verse or two verses before they reveal their chorus, the most catchy part. This song by Bob Marley, One Love, actually began with the chorus. Now on to the next track. The third song I'd like to listen to today is called Hound Dog and it's by Elvis Presley. Now this is a piece of rock and roll music, it's fast paced, it's energetic, I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm not going to ask you to tap your thighs and clap your hands to this one on the chorus and verse because, well, that would be a little tricky to do. Because again, there's something unusual about the structure of this song. So I'll tell you what, have a listen to it, see if you can hear what you think is unusual about the structure of the song Hound Dog by Elvis Presley and then pop back afterwards and we'll discuss it. And welcome back and I hope you enjoyed listening to Elvis Presley's Hound Dog and I wonder if you noticed what was unusual about the structure of that song. Well, it's unusual because it doesn't really have a verse chorus structure. It's simply the same section of music over and over again. The lyrics change, but the music stays the same. So you could argue it's just verse, 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 verse. But I also wonder if you noticed there were some different sections where the lyrics dropped out and there were solos, there was guitar solos, there was vocal oohs and ahs in the background. And that's similar to the You're Welcome song from earlier, about two thirds of the way through, where there was a rap section. Lots of songs have these new sections that pop up 
to keep your interest throughout the song. Now, if you enjoyed that piece of rock and roll music by Elvis Presley, then I urge you to look up some other artists from the 50s and 60s that performed rock and roll music. Here's two more artists, as well as Elvis Presley, that I recommend you listen to. Little Richard and Chuck Berry. If you like this type of music, have a listen to those two artists for some more great examples of rock and roll music. But now, on to our final song for today, before I give you an activity to do that's music tech-based. Our final song is by a band called Queen, and you may have heard this song before. It's called Bohemian Rhapsody. Now, click the link below, have a listen to the structure of this song, because this is the most unusual yet. Then pop back afterwards and we'll discuss why it's such an unusual and bizarre structure for a piece of music. So, quite a long song to listen to there, but full of such interesting musical sections. Did you notice that, again, there was no clear chorus or even a verse? It was a section of wildly different musical parts that are all stitched together to make one huge epic piece of music. The same section rarely came back again, so you can't really call any of it a chorus. It's just a series of musical episodes that make up this great track. Some sections are just slow and like a ballad. Other times there's a, a selection of people singing in close harmony without any instruments, and other times there's heavy guitar solos and drums playing. It really is a huge collection of lots of different sections. Now this is called Bohemian Rhapsody for a reason, in that the name for that type of structure is a rhapsody. So any piece of music that's just new section, new section, new section, new section, is called a rhapsody. They're quite rare in pop music, but Bohemian Rhapsody is one example of it. Now your final activity is a bit like a musical game. You're going to need the internet to find the correct web page though. So using Google Chrome, we're going to type in Beethoven Doodle Google. Once you type that in, it's the first result that you want, called Celebrating Ludwig van Beethoven's 245th year. Clicking that will bring you this game. Now when I click this, a video will play showing you Beethoven losing all his pieces of music in different ways. And it's your job to put them back into the correct order. Let's have a look. So you can see there, his horse has chewed up and spat out his fifth symphony, and now it's up to you to put it back in the correct order. Now here's the four pieces so far, level one is just four pieces, and you can click each part to hear it. And you see you have four boxes to put them in. And once you put them in, you can hit play to see if you're correct. Two right but two wrong. So you can keep mixing and matching until you eventually get the order correct. And then the game continues. Now the levels get harder and harder as more of his compositions get teared up and put in the wrong order. So good luck working your way through those pieces and learning more about structure as you do so. And that's it for this week. I'll see you next time for some more music tech based musical learning. Bye-bye.